What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, here again for continuing the series of the phenomenal Dr. Drew Guide on how to make a secure GPG setup with a YubiKey. And we have already generated on a secure Tails booting operating system uh, the master key, and today we are going to generate the sub keys. Uh, so we have generated up here the uh, the um, the master key and we have the key ID. Uh, so this is important because now the command will be a GPG uh, in the expert mode and now we will edit the master key um, that we have generated previously in order to add sub keys. So we will have to uh, import into this command uh, or we have to point this command to this specific key ID that we have generated yesterday in the earlier step. Um, and yes, we want to do this with the RSA secret key, uh, with the usage C, the certificate key, uh, that is the ultimate master key uh, for your um, user identity here with, e with name and email. And now we want to add first a signing key. Uh, so type into this protocol here, add key, and select or verify that this is actually the user ID you want to use. Uh, and select now this time number four, a RSA key, uh, which is sign only. So we do not need encrypt for now, uh, and we do, we do not need uh, the, uh, the other. It's just sign only for this one. Uh, and the key length, again, why not the maximum of 4096? Uh, that is just the most secure standard, uh, and confirm that. Uh, however, now the interesting, for the expiry, we want to have one year uh, so that the key will expire in one year. Uh, if nothing else happens. That is a security function uh, because if uh, we forget this key and in 10 years someone finds your old laptop and somehow gets access to it, then the key would still be active uh, and would still be usable and we don't want to have this. So we want to have frequent key rotation for all the sub keys and that includes the signing keys. Uh, so here we will have one year uh, and you can increase this uh, with a, a new valid signature of the master key later, but it's always good to have a expiry date for your sub keys, uh, which again, you want to rotate anyhow every now and again uh, to make sure that you are still uh, secure. Uh, and so you will verify here uh, the expiry uh, date and time, uh, which will then be exactly in, in one year of the future, and verify that with correct. And again, now this is going to be the random number generator. Uh, if you have a chaos key, that would be awesome. Uh, it will be faster. It will be a bit more secure. It's not needed, though. Otherwise, just hack the keyboard uh, for a lot. And then as a result, you will see that for the RSA key, uh, that is here your master key ID, uh, that has the usage as certificate uh, and the validity for ultimate. We have below there a sub key, which is also a RSA uh, 4096 key with a new key identity. So this is a new elliptical curve key, but that is specifically designated uh, for being used as for signing uh, your messages. Uh, so if you want to sign a message with your private key, uh, this is it right here. And you see when it was created, that is today's date, and when it will expire, that is exactly in one year from now. And you will see for both of these keys uh, that they belong to this user ID, which will be you, of course. And now we will do the same for encryption. Uh, so this is something then uh, for how you can, or that is your, the public key uh, that others can encrypt messages to so that only you, you can read it. Uh, so we will add a key again to the master key. So we are still here in the GPG uh, expert mode of edit the key, uh, which is the master key from yesterday's video. Uh, but now we will generate here number six, uh, which is a RSA encrypt only. So again, this is the public key of the elliptical curve digital signature, or here the RSA signature, sorry. Um, that uh, that will be used for others, for example, in your email communication uh, to make sure that only you can read it. Again, choose the longest key size, because why not? Uh, and as I said earlier, again, uh, this is a sub key, so you want to rotate it. So this will have an expiry date of one year. Uh, so confirm that and make sure it's correct. 
uh, and again uh, gener generate enough random bytes uh, the chaos key would be cool but not needed and once you're done with that you will see that under your master key with the same key id uh, the, the certificate key you will have the, si uh, the signing key from earlier and a new key id uh, here again with a creation and expiration date that is designated for encrypting uh, your communication. So that is a, a public key uh, that you can send then to others uh, that, that can be used for this. And now we will uh, generate the last key uh, in this GPG setup, which will be another sub key under the master key. So we're still here in the same GPG expert edit key of the master key window but now with the authentication. Uh, and this is done, um, or, or this is done here with a number eight key, again, a RSA uh, for your own capabilities. So this will be some expert level uh, edit that we will have to do now. And first we will have to toggle off uh, the S, the signing. Uh, and we will also have to toggle off the encryption. Uh, so these will then both be toggled off. And now we need to toggle on the uh, authentication capability of this key. Uh, and now we have uh, signing and encryption toggled off and authentication toggled off. And now we finish that with the queue, with the uh, quit. Uh, and this will generate a authentication only key. Again, largest key size, because why not? And a one year expiration. Uh, and verify that everything here is correct and introduce some additional random bytes if possible with the uh, chaos key. And this is it. This is now how we have generated all the keys. You see that this is the master key, the SEC key. Uh, right here with the certificate usage uh, that was created today and will never expire. Uh, and the trust is ultimate and the validity is ultimate. Uh, below that, we have a couple sub keys um, that, or, or sorry, this, this master key is your long-term identity. You will probably uh, not change this, um, or at least you will try not to change this. You can change it, um, but this again is some more advanced setup then. The ideal is to keep this for a long time, either for your real identity or for a pseudonymous identity. Again, it works for both. And below this master key, you generate new um, elliptical or RSA uh, public and private keys uh, that are designated for different usages. And these sub keys will be rotated every single year uh, so, that do, so that you do have key security for those keys that are introduced to a hot machine or, for example, a YubiKey and uh, to those you interact with regularly. Uh, and these are three different keys, all RSA keys with a key length of 4096, because that's really, well, that's, <laughs> that's just why not. And they all have a different key IDs, uh, but they all have the same creation and expiration date. And they have the three different use case cases, signing uh, for, uh, for uh, signing uh, a message and proving that you have this private key associated to the public key. Encrypting uh, is for encrypting and decrypting the, the communication and the authentication here is again to prove that uh, you have the authority over this uh, private public key pair. And you also see the key identity. Uh, so this is either your real name uh, or your pseudonymous and the email which you actually use in order to encrypt and decrypt your communication. Um, uh, so this is so it so far so it for the key generation. We've now generated the four uh, um, RSA keys. Uh, and now in the next step, we can uh, do the verification and the backup and the introduction of the UV key uh, and some more advanced stuff. But so far, this has been it uh, for this key setup. Uh, and Pierce, thank you very much for joining me today. See you on the next show. Bye-bye.